Welcome to this episode of the Architects of Destiny podcast. Today, we will be diving deep into the world of business energetics. This is my own backyard and I absolutely love talking about it, probably even more so than about light language, because my whole journey up until today uh, has not just been a journey of spiritual discovery, ascension, but also it's been an entrepreneurial journey. Uh, My entire life, I have been an entrepreneur. I never really held a job for more than a few months right after university. I straight away dived into the world of business. However, the world of business as we know it traditionally is not exactly the same as what we uh, deal with when it comes to the new earth quantum business. So today I want to introduce you to the quantum business paradigm where your business can be as multidimensional as you. And quantum business paradigm really drops away a lot of things that we don't like about business in 3D. Greed, manipulation, unfair exchange. And It may feel like when we lean into the newer business paradigm, we'll be limiting ourselves and perhaps our competition will take over and uh, have an advantage over us because they do deploy these techniques which are off limits for us. However, what the newer business has to offer to us as spiritual entrepreneurs, conscious coaches, conscious business people is a whole plethora of incredible tools that the 3D marketers and business people and gurus don't even know about. And that's what I want to introduce you today. Quantum business tools. So let's start by actually uncovering what is that quantum business paradigm and how is it different from the traditional 3D approach to business. And by the way, you don't have to be a spiritual practitioner, meaning you don't have to express yourself in a spiritual way as a spiritual teacher, yoga teacher, tarot reader, akashic reader, light language practitioner, that is not necessary for you to have a new earth business. You can have a physical business uh, with very concrete offering, like, I don't know, engineering or construction or agriculture or consulting. Whatever it is that you do, this quantum business paradigm can be applied to all types of businesses, offline, online, and hybrids. So, What is quantum business paradigm? Well, it is a notion that just as we humans are multidimensional, we exist in our entirety beyond this physical body, so can our business. And it can, but doesn't mean it is that obvious and that all businesses are multidimensional. It means that If you have awakened spiritually yourself, if you have realized that you are more than just this physical body, that there are other dimensions that exist and that what we see here through the world of five senses is just a postage stamp version of reality, well, you've got an opportunity to ascend your business to higher dimensions together with you, which means that, well, it's got really cool implications. If your business is not just a physical entity, and it doesn't matter whether it's offline or online, so it doesn't just have a physical iteration. If it's an online business, it would have a website, marketing funnels, email list. If it's an online business, it may have premises, an office, employees, um, equipment, or whatever. That is the 3D iteration of our business. But if you take your business to higher dimensions, if you give it a birth, 
in the quantum field, which may sound like magic, and I explain a little bit of what it means. Well, the implications are that this business becomes a multi-dimensional entity that exists not just here in 3D with its physical iterations that I've named before, but it also exists in the world of metaphysics in 5D, 12D, or wherever you place it, or even across dimensions. And the best thing about it is that then what you can start doing is you can start working on your business energetically as well as strategically. Having a multidimensional business that exists beyond the three-dimensional reality gives you incredible tools because you can work energetically on your products, on your offers, on the business model itself. You can supercharge it with energy, you can remove blocks, and it will then be reflected in the 3D reality. And even better, energy works really fast, just like magic. But of course, that is just the basics of it. Um, and why would you even want to have a multidimensional business? Well, the advantage of being able to work with it energetically is pretty amazing. It gives you a cutting edge of um, technology and tools available, which most people don't know about. Uh, a lot of entrepreneurs are into personal development and they work with mindset, but you will be working directly in energy fields, which means that you are literally changing the fabrics of reality from like a control room of your multidimensional business. But another thing that happens when you decide to follow this multidimensional business paradigm is that your business growth and your personal growth will be absolutely supercharged because there is also an interrelation between the business in this higher dimensional realm and your own personal energy field. And you can start playing with energy of money, energy of abundance, life force energy, creativity energy, you can start applying galactic codes and upgrades, which you probably know from our other podcast episodes are pretty awesome and can really speed up manifestations, synchronicities. Uh, you can apply them not just to you, but also to your business. So just tune in for a second and think how incredible it would be if you could literally work on your business the same way as you work with yourself. For those of you who have done shadow work or inner work, uh, for those of you who work on yourself energetically, you know just how powerful and sometimes how rapid those shifts are. Well, you can do exactly the same with your business. But using external energies such as source energy, galactic energies, creativity energy, money energy, is only a small part of what you can do with your business in the quantum field. Literally, in the quantum, possibilities are infinite. But let me just show you a couple of examples of how and why to work energetically with your business. First thing I will address to people who perhaps are solopreneurs or people who have personal brands. Very often, when you are your brand or when you have a small business which is associated with you personally, what seems to happen if you haven't given this business an energetic birth and when your own personal energy field doesn't see the business energy field and when your business energy field doesn't see your personal energy field, it can come up as blockages to income or problems as soon as you step out, even for holiday. So if your business is not its own energetic entity, what happens is it operates directly under your own energy field. And very often when I work with entrepreneurs, it is even shown to me like the 
business is still inside of a personal energy field. And how this in practical terms plays out is someone goes on holiday, problems start within a business. I don't know, there's requests for refunds, there is problems with employees, or revenue completely dries up. Another classical example of when a business is not born from the field and still inside the person is very limited growth because it's like a baby in a mother's womb. It can only grow so far there. It needs to come out to the world in order to actually experience some serious growth and live up to its potential. Same with business. If it's inside your field and if it's not been given its own multidimensional birth, you may find that, for example, you will have just enough money to survive, but not much extra. Enough for the needs, but wants, um, it's going to be quite complicated. So very often, just the simple act of giving your business an energetic birth, pushing it out into the quantum field, can result in an incredible uh, amount of opportunities opening up in a healthier way of relating to income, in a healthier way of relating to time, whereby you step out, business still makes money uh, because it's running on its own steam. Uh, And of course, uh, that really takes a lot of weight off your chest as an entrepreneur. But with that being said, Sometimes I have dealt with cases where the opposite was the truth. So rather than uh, business being inside of a personal energy field, I've worked with entrepreneurs whereby their businesses were enclosing their personal energy field. And that situation is usually when an entrepreneur feels trapped in their business. Uh, And I want you to try with me during this podcast, as you're listening, this simple exercise, because the quantum reality is really the world of your imagination. If you're thinking about your business, what is the first thing that springs to your mind? How do you imagine if your business was an actual entity, what would it look like? To some people, it may look like the logo. To some people, it may look like some ball of energy. To some people, it may look like a symbol. So like whenever I work with estate agents, it's usually a house that uh, that they see their business at. I remember working once with a multidimensional medium and for her, the uh, business was represented as this kind of solar system on a planet. So what is it like for you? Just take literally a few minutes or even seconds and it will come to you. Take a deep breath and just imagine. What does your business look like in the quantum field? And the next question is, where is it? Is it located inside you? Is it outside of you? Is it enclosing you? Well, the healthy relationship between you and your business in the quantum business paradigm is that you are separate entities. However, you have a connection. And that connection is another thing that we work with when we work with the energetics of business paradigm. Because the relation between the business owner, the boss, and their own business will literally determine everything. That relationship is super crucial. It's important that there is a connection, but also when the business grows especially, it's super important to have a healthy disconnection. And it can even be like an energetic protocol. You know, like people cut cords. We obviously don't cut anything permanently, but we can ease off this connection because, again, very often when you're an entrepreneur, what happens is you will be uh, basically, you know, working 24-7 and having all these kind of hats on uh, being your accountant and cleaner and graphic designer and social media manager and, and all of that. So that's, that's quite common. So you can, you can learn how to disconnect. But the even more important thing apart from these like practical um, reasons is that what is going on inside your field will be reflected in the business field and vice versa. 
So very often when we work with uh, within this energetics of business paradigm, we see how your personal blocks, perceptions, limitations, traumas will determine the growth trajectory of your business. Very often your personal limitations will unfortunately be reflected uh, in the business limitations. But when we actually start working on it energetically, it can be cleared very, very quickly and precisely. Another implication of working within the quantum business paradigm is that your business as its own energetic entity will have its own personality, its own brand of consciousness. And that, I know it's going to sound crazy, your business becomes like your business partner. That's right. I haven't made a mistake here. Uh, I really mean it. Your business becomes like your business partner. So you are not just creating working in the business or working on the business. You are working with the living consciousness of the business as if it's another person because you know your business will have messages for you. It will very often guide you to exactly how it wants to grow. And it's absolutely... uh, normal for it to take place because if you think about it like you know quantum stuff aside let's say you start a business idea uh the minute that business idea becomes born into the world from your own imagination from the quantum into the three-dimensional universe it takes a lot of energy there will be your energy the inception energy but there will be energy of your clients uh, co-creators there will be energy of um, whatever people come into contact with this business so this business will develop its own personality and often it will have its own intuition it will have its own guidance so when you actually start thinking about your business as a living consciousness after you've given it a birth energetically and that can be done in a ceremony that can be done just by intentions like I want to be separated from my business so that we are two different entities, but I want to be connected. But once, so separated as in you're not the same entity as your business, but connected because there's a connection through your heart chakra, but could be through any other energy centers, through your third eye to give you vision, through your womb to give you the creative energy, through solar plexus to give you the confidence, and so on and so forth. But going back to this connection, you can actually communicate with this business. Uh, And it's a two-way street, two-way communication. And it really changes a lot because then you stop thinking about your business as some kind of object or concept, but we will start treating it as a living, almost person with its own entity. But we can take it even further. Every offer, every product you create within your business will also have its own brand of consciousness. Uh, And again, the same way as you can work on the business with communicating, supercharging it with energy, um, you know, calling in your clients, you can also work with every single product um, inside your business. And when you become energetically sensitive, you will feel which ones are alive, which ones are maybe more dormant. For example, if you have a product or offer or service that you bring, I don't know, uh, periodically, before maybe you launch it or before you re-advertise it, you may want to connect energetically to just check on how it's doing. Whereas there will be other things, other pro- programs in, in our business, for example, it's the Quantum Club membership. There's a constant flow of energy. This is its own, um, it's got its own personality. It's really strong. It's got its own vibe. And we like becoming a little bit like the ambassadors and custodians of this offering because it's bigger than us. Now we've got, you know, nearly 100 members who bring their own uh, energy into it. Uh, We've grown a community because we're listening to them and it just kind of 
has its own personality. So when I'm working in the living consciousness of my business and with the living consciousness of offers within the business, I essentially do what I do best. I channel. And I have done it before whereby literally an offer that wanted to be born, everything I wrote on the page of this offer was channeled nearly like automatic writing. You can go and check my iridescence and radiance. Uh, These are two energetics of business programs. Everything I've written on the landing page has been literally just channeled through. I had these moments of inspiration. I had tears in my eyes. And when I was creating it, I was just typing, connecting to the energy in the same way as when I channel light language. And I have witnessed similar, uh, similar beautiful occurrences in my clients' businesses. When we actually tap into the living consciousness of the business and to the particular personality of the offers that want to be brought out through this business, there is such a liberation of energy. We no longer think like, oh my goodness me, how what can I create to make a lot of money or to serve my clients? And it doesn't even start with market research like in a traditional business paradigm. It starts with this moment of inspiration and when this energy comes through, there's often tears in people's eyes. I've had that channeling the radiance and iridescence offers. Uh, But I've witnessed that working with private clients where lately there was um, one client who has come up with the idea of a membership, which it didn't come from, oh, I want to have a membership. How do I get recurring revenue? None of that. It was just born from the heart and from the pure soul of herself, her higher self, as well as the business. And that liberation of energy that came through when she was telling me about this we could both feel it. We were both welling up. And I've had another client who, again, came up with this beautiful original body of work. And when it's all channeled through, it is the most moving, incredible um, experience. And that is another feature of this kind of quantum business paradigm. Business is aligned with your soul. So what you do is actually the pure expression of your soul and your soul mission and purpose. And of course, it uh, doesn't mean that, you know, every, everything you, uh, you do is just inspiration and it's just flow because business needs concrete structures. I'm, you know, the first person to tell you, you need to have a business infrastructure, whether it's an offline business or online business needs to be solid. You know, this abundance, this creativity needs to have a channel to flow through. And on the, it also has to have a receiving channel. You know, how do you actually receive clients? Uh, what, how do they find you? So all of these concrete things need to be in place. However, your business can be a great opportunity to express your soul. And if you're currently perhaps in more of a business which was not born as a soul expression, as this inspiration. doesn't mean that it's not soul aligned, etc. Sometimes it's just about making adjustments so that your business, your enterprise, actually matches your current level of consciousness, which is, again, something that I often uh, need to do when I'm working with established entrepreneurs because it, uh, businesses evolve And we evolve personally. And if we honor ourselves and if we know that we're here for a purpose and it's not just to, you know, make money and pay bills, but actually do so much more than that, sometimes there needs to be an adjustment so that what you offer, what uh, products you've got really reflect well what you are here to do, uh, what you are here to bring out to the world. Uh, and I, I am a firm believer that everybody's got this unique soul blueprint and that business can become like a channel and an opportunity to express it. So that is 
in essence, what quantum business paradigm looks like. That is, in essence, how uh, you can work with a living consciousness of the business. This is just the very foundations, the very basics of it. But let me know, guys, what do you think about this whole subject? Is there any questions you've got? Uh, has this opened some kind of uh, consciousness flaps and perhaps give you some ideas? We can go really deep on this subject. There's so many aspects of offers creation, how we sell, how we serve our clients, how we price, how we work with money energy. Um, and if there's enough interest, I may do another episode or maybe even a series. But for now, if you are interested in a little bit more of this quantum business paradigm, I have got some trainings that are on uh, my website, realofgod.com. I'm going to link to them. Uh, if you're watching it before the end of April, you may be able to even catch uh, for a limited time a free three-part business um, energetic growth um, series, which is about client attraction, uh, about expression and about scaling in the quantum business paradigm. I'm also taking a group of souls on a 12-month business expansion journey, uh, which starts on the 1st of May. But I also work with private clients throughout the year. So if this subject interests you, please leave a comment below. Let me know uh, or maybe reach out through any of the social media channels if you have any specific questions. This is a completely new world of business energetics, even if you are an established entrepreneur. And uh, there is so much to talk about. But for now, I just wanted to introduce you to what quantum business is like and the most basic implications for of it. Thank you so much. And uh, well, I hope to see you soon. Thank you for listening to another episode of the Architects of Destiny podcast. Be sure to subscribe and we will see you on the next episode.